Say shout out to the LDBC, Stilo 404, Boxing and More. Welcome back to the channel to my subscribers and repeat viewers. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. What I want to talk about, Manny Pacquiao supposedly signing with Al Hayden. My thoughts on it, I hope it's true. There's rumors that he may be fighting Broner. That's a good that's a good fight I wouldn't mind seeing. Um, I can see that fight playing out a, 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 a multitude of different ways. So it, it's not just some foregone conclusion that one guy beats the other guy. You know, not for myself. So I, it's a fight I would like to see. But even if that fight isn't real, just the fact that if, if Pacquiao has signed with Al Haven, that's a good thing. There are a lot, all you know. There are a large stable of welterweight signed with PBC, so that that opens up the door for Pacquiao to get a lot of fights. You know what I'm saying? Which I know he he's, he's at twilight of his career. He's only gonna fight so many more fights, but but there's a lot of options there for Pacquiao if he signs with PBC. You know, Pacquiao won't have the Errol Spence problem where everybody's ducking him. I don't think anybody, you know, really. Most people look at Pacquiao as a nice payday, even though he, he doesn't bring the luster that he used to and bring the, you know, pay-per-views that he used to bring in. But at the end of the day, he, he's a guy who has a name that can catapult your career. So a lot of these guys would be willing to get in there and fight him, and, and Pacquiao is willing to fight them. So I'm, I'm hopeful that the signing is real, hopeful that it happens. Maybe I'm late to the party. Maybe it, maybe it's already been announced as official. Um, I hadn't been on much the last couple of days. Um, but if if it is true, I think I think it's good for the welterweight division for Pacquiao to be active and, and in the mix with those those guys in that division. I mean, I don't expect him to put himself in a in a situation where it's just obvious that he's outgunned because the man is close to 40 years old. So, you know, the father time is undefeated. We all know that. So at some point, you know what I'm saying, at some point you're, you're not going to be able to do the things that you were able to do when you were younger. I mean, that's everyone. That's, no matter what walk of life you come from, no matter what line of work you're in, at some point certain things start to erode with age. So, like I said, I'm hopeful that this is, this is true. I, I want to see activity. And I want to see Pacquiao in there with some of those good name fighters, you know, some of the some of the guys that are moving and shaking in the welterweight division, or or should I be more correct to say some of the guys who should be moving and shaking in the welterweight division, because the division is kind of stagnant to be honest. It's, it's kind of like the heavyweight division where the top guys aren't really fighting each other there either. But I, I want to see it. I you know I want to see these guys getting it in. I think Pacquiao, his name will help make that happen so if that if that's happened if that's that's true much respect to Pacquiao and um I'm hoping to see good things from the welterweight division and hoping to see activity and some good fights out of Pacquiao in 2019 on that note shout out to the LDBC shout out new media I'm moving on